Hello guys, welcome to Technomac Education. Today's tutorial is Shock Tube Analysis in Fluent. So let's start the video. First open Fluent, Fluid Flow Fluent. <laughs> then go to Geometry, <coughs> New Geometry. and. Here we have to create our geometry for analysis. So first select any plane. I am selecting XY plane. Then orientation. Then go to a sketch. And draw a rectangle. First you set your units. Units should be millimeter. So I am selecting millimeter. Then a sketch a rectangle. Now give the dimension. Dimension general. Just click here. This length. And also we required uh, the distance from the center axis. Okay. So I am equally divided it. Okay. So whatever the distance, whatever the length we will take. Uh, okay. So automatically it will be divided. Okay. So just uh, click horizontal length. This one and this one. Okay. Horizontal length. Now vertical length. Vertical length means this distance we need. So here we sh I should click on here and here. Okay. So now give the dimension. So I'm taking total length of uh, 1000 mm. Then H4 vertical length. Vertical length uh, I'm taking 30 mm. <coughs> no. H4 equally divided means this one should be 500. This one should be 15. This is our model. After that, click on generate. Now surface from a sketches. Now select our sketch. four lines now apply then click generate <coughs> this is our model now go to your main page click on mesh edit now you can see your model here okay This is our model. Now, before coming here, one more thing we have to do. I miss, I missed that one. So first, uh, you go to your model. Okay. So now here we have to divide the section. We have to create two, two section. In shock tube, generally two section is there. First uh, section is called high pressure section, and second one is called low pressure section. Okay. So first pressure uh, section, high pressure section is also called driver and this one is driven. So we have to create two section. So now we have to divide. So go to tools, face split. Now select our face. Now here we have to select face. So click on the space on the your body go to selection filter to the edge and select this one this line you can 
say here one line should be here so now generate after that come here and now click on mesh edit so now you can see the finally you can get this one okay so finally you can see easily here okay so little bit you should know about shock tube so one section is called driver section and another su another section is called driven section here high pressure should be high pressure and here should be low pressure and the middle one is called this line is called diaphragm okay so first of all we go we have to mesh it okay so first click on mesh one face insert map face meshing and select this face apply again click here insert map mesh okay now click edges select edges select one edge then go to mesh control sizing change element size to number of divisions soft should be hard now give number of divisions so I'm giving 1000 mm means 2000 divisions so we'll get 0.5 sizing oh sorry this is uh, 500 no? so here should be 1000 1000 number of divisions now again this line go to insert sizing number of element same procedure we have to follow on all the edges so number of divisions should be 1000 and soft should be hard okay again this size go to mesh control sizing and also change it number of divisions number of division 1000 and this one should be hard again select another line another edge mesh control sizing number of uh, number of divisions then 1000 then hard now another size another side we have to select this size mesh mm. control sizing number of divisions here we should enter 30 this is the length of this side is 30 okay size number of divisions number of divisions will be 60 and soft change to hard here I forgot to change hard right now we have to give name selection 
Okay, guys. So now click on select this and now click on here face and go to create name selection sorry first we should to create wall okay so all the four walls diaphragm driven and driver driver and driven these four naming we have to give so anyone we can do anyone we can do so first select all four edges create name selection give the name wall ok you can see here wall this is all four are wall now again this one name selection diaphragm okay now face selection create name selection driver okay now again this one driven okay guys now name selection has been done after that we have to apply mesh now generate mesh <coughs> it will take some time This is your next part. My God. Okay. So now you can check how many nodes and how many elements have developed. Generated nodes. You can see here. One lakh twenty-two thousand and one lakh twenty thousand elements. So one lakh twenty-two thousand nodes has been generated. Okay. So after that again we have to return here and right click here and update. <coughs> then click on setup, right click on setup and edit. Then here we have to select double precision method and here parallel and number of processes, four number of processes we have to select. Click OK. here another window will come and here we have to perform the analysis so now you can see here so first general so density based and transient we have to select and in model energy we have to give energy equation on and viscous we have to change the viscous to invisible ok materials air and here density we should change it ideal less click on create close it in cell condition zone you can see the operating condition just click ok boundary conditions all boundary conditions should be same here ok so just click operating condition and give it to zero ok you can check now now you can check all the operating conditions are zero all the operating conditions should be zero okay. so now go to there is no need to change anything here so in solution method implicit everything by default then go to solution control monitor everything should be same go to initialization and here we have to initialize it then patch 
and now here we have to give pressure values driver and driven two sections we have so driver section should be high pressure and driven section should be low pressure so first i am giving driver section values 500,000 pascals patch close it then again open patch select pressure click on driven you can see here we have to change the pressure value atmospheric pressure value 101325 now click on patch and close now to go to calculation activity and give it one auto save every time steps so every one time step it will save your calculations so run calculation here time step time step size i am giving 7 e power minus 06 and number of time steps i am giving 50 initially 50 i am giving okay so now click on now wait till the analysis now you can see the graph also now now solution has been done now you can check your results so go to graphics and animations contours double click on it and then select all your models diaphragm interior driven driver everything okay now click on display you can see the results okay. then check uh, density also velocity now check your graphs so go to plot x y plot pressure select all plot this is your pressure graph now you can see here the maximum pressure is 500000 and minimum pressure we have applied one bar check your density density graph and this correct now velocity graph plot hmm. so the maximum velocity you are getting 200 this is 2.25 so here approximate 210 215 i think 210 or 215 meter per second we are getting so in this way you can simulate and we can vary pressure also okay. so this is the complete procedure of simulation of shock tube in fluent thank you for watching